Well, less than nine weeks until voters will head to the polls, and already campaign signs are beginning to appear just about everywhere. Our Josh Peterson takes a look at the rules and protocol when it comes to campaign yard signs. Just about everywhere you look, whether you're on a highway or driving through your own neighborhood, the landscape is filled with colorful signs of all shapes and sizes. And it's still early. There's been a significant increase in campaign signage around the Bemidji area that stems from both major political parties now having office hours where those who want to show their support for their favorite candidate can stop in and take home some election materials. But the rules to follow can be tricky depending on your location. It can't be in the road, road right away and for most roads um, that's 33 feet from the center of the roadway. Now that's most roads, that's not all of them. Certain roads differ on their size uh, depending on the, the size of the roadway. There really is no set rule when it comes to yard signs other than they can't be in the right of way simply because every location is different. So where it gets sticky is how far out does that right of way go because really it's, it's location dependent and it can be anything and you just you got to talk with the roadway authority to find out in this location where does the right of way extend out to. If a yard sign is found to be in the right of way it likely will be removed by the department who oversees the roadway that the sign was located on. The best recommendation when placing your campaign signage is to use common sense and making sure the roadway and sight lines are clear of any obstructions. The good rule of thumb is, is keep it off public property, um, don't obstruct any other roadway, don't obstruct anybody else. If you find that your candidate's sign is missing, simply call the department that oversees your stretch of roadway and you can go in and claim your sign. So according to statute, the roadway authority has to hold on to the sign, right? So they'll go in, they'll confiscate the sign, and then they'll hold it on site. With the most intense part of the campaign season just beginning, you can be sure that the amount of signs you see now will only continue to grow all the way through Election Day. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Once the election is over, there's a window of 10 days for campaign signs that need to, for them to be taken down. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.